Hello everyone, this is Marco from LA Media Productions and I'd like to welcome you to my very first After Effects tutorial on green screen keying using Keylight. Okay, so looking at this footage that I've got here, um, if you already subscribed to my YouTube channel, you'll probably know where this is from. But if you haven't seen this, um, please do check it out because, hey, it's, it's scary. I mean, look at this guy, he's, he's really scary. It's basically about a guy that goes to a train station, pulls his gun out and shoots at nothing. So if you like that kind of stuff, hey, please check it out. You won't be disappointed. But let's just take the time and analyze this video. The reason I say that, well, this video actually breaks every rule when it comes to a good green screen setup. So let's have a look at those things. I'm going to start off with my background first. And if you take a close look, you will see that I never took my time to actually iron this material. And as a result of that, I'm getting horrible shadows all over the place. Okay, so the second thing is I've got a bit of a shadow here as well. This indicates to me that I'm too close to my green screen. This is fixable, but hey, I'll show you another thing. Have a look at my gun. My gun is actually receiving a lot of spill from the screen. So when I take out the primary green color, I'm going to be taking out this part as well, which will make my gun transparent. And I don't want that. We'll leave this for now, and I'll show you how to fix this later. The next step is to create a garbage mat. Now what this will do is get rid of all the unwanted areas of my video. So I'm going to do that by choosing the pen tool and just simply going around the area that I do require. Okay, and now just simply go through your video and have a look and see if there's any overlapping going on. No, everything seems to be fine. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up Keylight. From your effects pull down menu, scroll down to keying and then choose Keylight. Okay, our first step here is to get rid of this horrible looking green color. I'm going to do that by choosing this little color picker tool and I'm probably going to click closer to the edge of my shirt. So maybe around here. Okay, that looks cool. Now I'm going to switch the view to screen matte. Okay, this gives me a black and white image. The white area represents everything that's going to be visible and the black area represents everything that's going to be transparent. Now to better explain this, if I go back to final result again, toggle the transparency switch on, you can see exactly what's going on. So this would be the black area and this would be the white area. Okay, let's go back to screen matte mode. The next thing I need to do is get rid of all the gray color from the black and white areas. So to do so, I'm just gonna expand the screen matte menu and start by clipping the black, or in other words, um, increasing the tolerance of the black. So let's go ahead and slide that up. Okay, so seven looks good. And now moving on to the white. Now this is a problem I was talking about in the start. Remember the transparent gun? Well, this is that area. Now here's one way to fix it. Done. But say you couldn't fix this area. Say this is such a big problem that you just didn't know what to do. So I'm gonna leave it like this and I'm gonna fix it for you later on. Okay, so one very important thing to remember when clipping black and white. Try not to use very high values because when you start doing that, you're going to get really ugly looking edges. And you don't want that. You actually want to make them nice and smooth. So to help me with that, I'm going to use Screen Pre-Blur. And I'm going to give it a value of 2. Okay, I'm happy with that. So now I'm just going to switch to my final result view. Okay, that's looking good. Uh, I still have a problem with the outline though. So I want to get rid of this outline. I don't want this there. So... I prefer to use a matte choker for this, but um, this being a key light tutorial, I'm going to go ahead and use key light settings. So I'm going to go down to screen shrink and grow. So if you want to shrink something, you, you're going to give it a negative value. So I'm going to go minus, say, minus three. Let's try minus three. Okay, that looks pretty good. I'm um, just going to try maybe 3.5. All right, I'm happy with this. Okay, so I can go ahead and put my background in, but before I do that, I need to fix that gun. Remember the gun that was transparent. So I'll just quickly show you what that looks like. Okay, so as you can see, this is the area that I need to fix. So I'm gonna do that by duplicating this layer. So you can push Control D to do that. And I don't need these effects and also masks. To display the masks, you can just push M on your keyboard or MM for the properties. I do not need this mask, so I'll delete that. Okay, and I'm just going to use a pen tool to select the area that I require. Okay, and check through the video. 
Okay, that looks fine. If this was to move all over the screen, I would have a big problem because I would have to rotoscope the whole lot. So I'm pretty lucky with this video. Okay, so now I can finally put my background in. Okay. Alright, just scale that up a bit. Right, and make sure you name your layers. You don't want to be lost, do you? Like this guy here. <laughs> okay, so now I want to add a blur. So I'm going to go to Fix, Blur, and Sharpen, and just going to use Fast Blur for this one. Okay, the reason I'm doing this, I just want to add a bit of a depth of field. Okay, that looks fine. And as a final step, I'm just going to do some minor color correction. So instead of me going through all of these three layers, I'm going to create a new adjustment layer. And that's going to allow me to control all three which are below. So any layer that you have below the adjustment layer is going to be affected by it. So I'm just going to go to Effect, Color Correction, and Curves. Okay, and then I just want to bring up the blacks a little bit. And just a little bit of whites. Maybe just a little bit more. Okay, and here's the final video. And here's the color corrected vision. Okay, so I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any suggestions or comments or requests, please let me know and I'll do my best to help you. Okay, and for all my subscribers that are interested in my short movie project, here's a little concept poster and soundtrack. Thanks again for subscribing.